February is Pet Dental Health Month, which serves as a helpful reminder that there's no better time to start prioritizing your cat or dog's dental health. 70% of cats will experience dental disease in their lifetime, and a vast 80% of dogs, especially small breeds and seniors, are at risk of dental disease. Lack of dental care can lead to inflammation, tartar, and quality of life issues for your pets. Today, we meet and talk with veterinarian Dr. Danielle Bernal, who will share simple tips to help start an at home dental routine for your pets. So tell us a little bit about as a doctor, what would you recommend for pet owners? How often do you think they should take care of their pet's dental hygiene? Well, pet dental hygiene is really no different to our own dental hygiene. So the tips and tricks here are going to be similar to what we do. The first one is just like us. Our dogs need to go see their dentist once a year, which in this case is their veterinarian. Then once they're at home, this is where they need to do some kind of daily at home dental routine. The big thing here is you need to be consistent, making sure it is every single day, and you need to do something that your pet's going to be willing to let you do. Um, so there are examples, for example, of brushing their teeth or giving them something alternative like a treat that's going to do that job for them. And would you say using the right uh, toothpaste, is that enough like to take care of the pet's uh, mouth? Or do you think the, the bones, because they have those like treats that are obviously helpful, which one would you say is better and more useful? The most important thing is you need to choose something that's going to mechanically abrade or be like a toothbrush, really. It's that physical abrasion that actually removes the plaque and the tartar. Toothpaste is important, so if you were using a toothbrush on your pets, this is where I would encourage you to try and find a dog or a cat toothpaste because this is going to be safe and healthy for them. You never want to use a human toothpaste, for example, because for us, they're designed to be spat out, but of course, for our dogs, they'd be swallowing it, and that can be toxic. So the big thing I'd say is anything that works like a toothbrush is going to be a really great option. And of course, you just mentioned it. This is where for dogs, if you're thinking as a pet parent, there's no way that my dog's going to let me brush my teeth or their teeth, this is where I'd encourage them to use a dental chew. Now, we all know that dogs, for example, love to chew products. That's fantastic because as they chew, it works like a toothbrush and removes that plaque and tartar. For cats, chewing something that's going to be long lasting isn't really up there, Ali, but this is where I encourage them to find a crunchy, porous cat dental treat. They work by encouraging the tooth to sink into it. And again, work like a toothbrush, clean up to the gums and keep those teeth nice and healthy. There's a lot of health myths. And what would you say is that health myths debunked? Is what's fact and what's fiction when it comes to that? Yeah, so there's some myths out there which say, for example, that a doggy breath is just part of being a dog. Well, that's an absolute no-no right there. The truth on that one is that if your dog's got a breath odour that's starting to smell a little, that's really a sign that they've got dental disease. We then hear other myths out there, which is the bacteria in a dog's mouth is healthy. In actual fact, they've got lots of bacteria that can cause proliferation of dental disease. The other one is that you just need to give a dog a bone every now and then and their dental teeth will be fine. Again, that's been disproven proven through science. We know that the real key importance here is they have to have something every single day. And when you're doing that, if they're eating it, you want it to be the very best quality that's also going to support their whole body health as well as their dental health. What are, what would you say are recommendations for the chews, the right kind of dental chews? Because there's so much out there that parents yeah. should look out for that is really going to help with the hygiene uh, because I'm sure there's so many choices out there and it's hard to choose which one is the right dental chew. Absolutely. The decision process for pet parents can be bamboozling without a doubt. What I encourage is to look for a product like a Whimsies. Whimsies are all natural dental chews are scientifically proven to reduce those four areas that a veterinarian is going to check most. The other great thing is in the case of the brush these, these are a little bit firmer, so they last longer than competitive products. Now, the longer a dog or cat is chewing a product, the means is going to be longer cleaning time. And as a result of that, the Whimsy's Dental Chews have the brush Z's, have got the Veterinary Oral Health Council, the VOHC seal of acceptance. That's a great one to look for to know if the product that you're feeding your dog or cat is truly scientifically proven. For cats, this one's a little bit tricky. What I encourage here is to look for a product that tastes great as well as supports their dental health. We know that cats can be super fussy. So when you see fresh chicken first, when you see good quality natural ingredients, as well as that unique design with that porous texture, that's how you know it's going to really support their cat's dental health and be something that they're willing to eat every single day to support their health. 
And where can people, pet parents, go to for more information that you recommend to look for these dental chews and even any kind of suggestions to how to maintain, you know, the pet's dental hygiene, any kind of resources to look at? Yeah, I encourage you to have a look at whimsies.com. That's W-H-I-M-Z-E-E-S.com. That's where you can find all the different details about the different shapes and sizes that we have available for dog dental chews, for example, because we know the jaw mechanics of a chihuahua are vastly different to that of a Great Dane. It's also going to give you different shapes because, again, you know, some dogs might be really heavy chewers, so we have unusual shapes like a hedgehog or an alligator that's perfect for those ones. The other thing I recommend is that go to your local pet specialty store and that's where you'll find all of these products on the shelf. You can start to try some because the big thing I want to implant onto all of you is that it's never too late to start. So if you're thinking about it, now's the perfect time with Pet Dental Health Month this February. Start incorporating into your dog or cat's diet and you'll be doing a great step for their overall well-being. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Danielle, and for joining us to talk about pet health and how important it is. And thank you for taking the time to tell everyone. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Take care.